Not many people will see this, but if you do, could you please like my recent because if I get over 5,000 likes, I can send a letter to Japan to stop the torturing of dogs. So please, like the recent and this comment so it is featured. You don't need 5,000 likes because you can just send it. Hey man, saw your profile on Facebook. Do you still collect? Hello? Is this the right email? Hello? Hey, sorry I didn't get to you sooner. Had some things to do. And yes, I collect occasionally. Great. I need a frame with one of each. Camel spider. Desert hairy scorpion. Giant crab spider. Tailless whip scorpion. Black widow female and male. Large wolf spider. Any kind of work. Cellar spider or daddy long legs. That's quite the order. <laughs> You'll probably want a medium sized frame for all those specimens, unless you want multiple smaller frames. One frame is good. Do you want to pick it up or be delivered? Delivered please. Okay, I'll probably need at least one month to complete the set. I'll need $20 in advance and $25 after completion, excluding shipping and handling. $45? Really? Like I know it'll cost a few bucks, but $45? Yes, I can negotiate, but I need to stay around that price. They're just a few bugs, they're not worth $45. Well, the frame itself costs $10, the amount of preservatives needed may vary, so I'm guessing $10 to $15. I'll exclude the price for the pins. And the other $30? $30 is for my time, not to mention my safety. That's stupid. I've seen sets worth $10 of better quality. Then go and buy those ones. Unlike most collectors in my area, I actually find and collect my specimens straight from nature. I know others who follow around pest control companies to pick up dead specimens. Insecticides lessen the quality of the pieces and don't work well with preservatives. You don't need 45 though. I'll do 15, more than generous. That won't work. Unless you want to shorten your list down to one or two specimens, I can't do $15. You're too expensive. Besides, you don't need money for safety. I definitely do. You're asking me to collect several specimens that can hurt me, including one of the most dangerous spiders in North America. For a Black Widow, $30 is beyond fair. Not to mention the fact that you're asking this of me from arguably the hottest region for this stuff. It's October, man. You won't die from the sun. You're missing the point. $45 is my price, both for covering the cost of materials and for my time and safety. How about $20? Sure, pay that in advance, and then pay $25 when it's done. Why $20 in advance? Just in case you decide to bail out on the deal and I don't lose all of my money buying materials. I work at a school, you know. I'm a teacher. I need this set for my class. That doesn't change my price. You're heartless. You don't care about children in school. You're probably scamming innocent people out of their money because you're a fraudy poo-poo head who only thinks about himself. How dare you be so self-centered and greedy while other people do this stuff out of kindness of their heart and don't charge anyone a penny because they're not thieving dumbheads. Are you sure you're a teacher? Thieving isn't a real word. Go to hell. I'm telling all my friends about your little scam. Have a good night to you too. Get fricked. Hello, can you change your channel names by another things with channel name? But I have a Twitch channel and I want to have a Twitter account with that channel name. Thank you. Hi, sorry, I've been using this name since 2010. All my social media account is with this name. Sorry. Oh, just add a little thing. Your account is not very popular. If you change one thing, it's not a problem. Hi, is the cookware you have on Gumtree still available? Hey there, definitely still available. I'll be at home after 5pm today if you wanted to come pick them up. Awesome, can you drop them off? If you live around the something area, I can drop them off tomorrow. I live in somewhere. I'm sorry, but that's too far for me to drop something off that I'm giving away. It's only 30 minutes. I can't afford to buy new cookware. Surely you could do this for someone like me, a single mother who really needs it. Think of all the good karma. I was wondering how much it is to get my pictures done for my birthday with a few friends. Hey, my basic 2 hour package is $200. Who is this? Don't text me ever again. Huh? Okay, but didn't you just ask about photos for a birthday party? I don't want them no more. You want hella money for some damn pictures. All you do with a camera is go click. Design my next tattoo, please? Of course, I would love to. Just so you're aware, I do charge commission. Excuse me? You've got to be joking. You are not good enough to do that stupidity. You're not even famous. You're so conceited. Your art is mediocre at best. Never mind, I don't want a conceited person designing art that will go onto my body. Hey, I'm the girl that just asked about your number on Insta about my godmom's wedding. 
Okay, good morning. What does she want me to make again? Breakfast, brunch, car with omelet station with shrimps, crab meat swordfish, and regular baking turkey sausage. Basically every breakfast meat. Wing station, all flavors you can think of. Waffle station, that stuffed salmon dish that's on your IG, make that for only 50 people. Fresh fruit, shrimp and grits, macaroni and cheese, fresh cooked veggies, string beans, broccoli, carrots, collards. This will be for 175 to 200 people. She needs an estimated price. $5,000. That's 28 a person. Her menu is pretty expensive, but 28 a person most definitely will get the job done. $5,000? Yes, I'm purchasing all food and making it, correct? Yeah, lol, but why that much? You're an Instagram caterer. It's not like you have your own legit restaurant, lol. What does that have to do with me purchasing all food products for 200 people and making it? I'm pretty sure you have a good plug, lol. Every good caterer does. She said 2,100. Take the opportunity or leave it. Her exact words. Tell love I'm good. Alright, do you have a set or approximate budget for the logo? Meh, not really. We'll buy whatever we like. But I can't promise I like anything, lol. Uh, you think I'm gonna make logos for you in hopes you'll be interested in using them? You're paying for my time, man. You can hire me to make your logos or not. Why won't my parents pay for my college when I requested it and am entitled to it? I already let them buy me a car immediately this spring and we are able to swim through it the summer, so you mind if we have the estate pay for opening, closing, and weekly maintenance for the pool? It costs about $2,000 total. It also costs $500 or less to heat it throughout the seasons. I mind. I never go swimming or go to the pool even. I'd rather not have the estate pay for it. Even though that's no more than $800? You're stingy lately. I mind too. I never use the pool either. Why should we pay for upkeep on something we don't use? It's $800 of something I'm not going to use often, so if that makes me stingy, then sure. So I don't have to pay 2 k out of my pocket for my kid to go swimming. Then go to a public pool. But we don't use it. Go to the pool. Okay, fine. And you're asking us to pay for something we don't use, just so you can use it cheaper. Don't get mad at us for saying no. Black Friday code? Hmm? Waiting. Hi there, unfortunately we don't have any Black Friday codes this year, but if you sign up for a newsletter you get 10% off your first order and you'll be the first to know about any sales or giveaways we have in the future. Why aren't there any Black Friday codes? We're a New Zealand Australian brand, so most of our promotions are for internationally celebrated holidays, however we're doing a giveaway on Monday where you can win a $1000 gift card for the store. Do you have an employee discount? I need to buy it for my daughter. She has no clothes and is forced to wear hand home downs. Unfortunately, I'm unable to give you private codes out, but our end of the season sale starts on the 25th of December and everything in the store will be up to 50% off. There's also a sales section on the website and if you spend $100 or more in a single order, you get free international shipping. I need 50% off now. I need free shipping. I'm a single mom. Can you give me 50% off now and 10% off when I sign up in free shipping? I'm really sorry, I wish I could, but I don't have the authorization to do so. Why won't you give me codes? You're being selfish, I can't believe you. I'm getting you fired. Extremely inappropriate response. Give me your manager's phone. You're so freaking rude, you barnacle head. Or should I say because you dirty half-breads like that so much. Your manager is going to be in your office to fire you. You are a freaking sheep. Inappropriate comments. Have a wonderful day, ma'am. <laughs> I get paid Monday. Do you have the Switch for sale also? Unfortunately not, just the game. Can you do 40? I'm sorry, but no, I'm not able to do 40. What's the lowest? I'm trying to get cheaper than GameStop and Walmart. It's 60 at Walmart and GameStop, which is why I figured I could price it 50 to get a quick sell, you know? Not a huge difference though, yeah. 10 bucks, but yeah. I do want to get it, so I'll text you Monday when I get paid, and I'll get it after I buy my Switch. Alright man, sounds good. I'll hold it for you. Holler at me when you're ready to grab it. KK, can you do 45? Here's the price at GameStop. You extremely close to the actual price. I'm trying to save cash. Remember, my copy is sealed. Brand new. So it would be $60 listed above. I had other offers this weekend, but I told them no because I told you I was holding it for you. But that's fine. I'll go 45 for you. Okay, let me buy my Switch, then I'll text you. 
Alright, is it still gonna be today or no? Yes. Alright, cool. Good deal. I'm at work until 4, but just holler at me and we can work something out. Hey, never heard from you yesterday. Everything okay? Ended up getting an Xbox One. Kinda made it impossible for me to get the game and a Switch. Well done, I wish you told me that you were gonna buy the game because I held it for you specifically. Alright. Oh, you wouldn't work with me on price. I was finna get the game till I could only find it at the pawn shop and they wouldn't work on the price also, so, huh? I came down on the price for you and you told me you were gonna buy it. Knocked $15 off the retail. Why would you tell someone you're gonna buy something and then have them hold onto it for you and leave them hanging? Not very cool. Oh well. It is what it is. Take it easy, man. Okay. Alright guys, as always, thank you so much for watching my content. If you liked the content, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you in the next one.